Well, the government has introduced an offer of early retirement to civil servants as part of a broader strategy to cut the public sector wage bill. But unions have rejected the proposal for voluntary early retirement packages. According to Treasury, the aim of the initiative is also to change the age profile of civil servants. Our problem is not a bloated civil service. Okay. So that's your problem number one, which makes it difficult to talk about restructuring thing. The third element is that we have got 160,000 people sitting not in the provision of direct services, not in, uh, we've got, don't have teachers, don't have nurses, don't have people in home affairs, but there are a lot of public entities sitting outside government that employ 160,000, which also rely on the fiscal, fiscal but are not involved in the direct uh, provision of services. That also requires uh, the restructuring of the structure of the public service itself than, uh, say, your first point is headcount, is the reduction of headcount. Fourthly, we also recognize that uh, while we are doing that, there needs to be some, some change in the public service at the moment, and we're offering an early retirement, which will achieve two things. The first one, of course, it is going to have an impact on headcount, but the second one, we will do have to change the, 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 the profile of the civil service in terms of age profile. Uh, there are departments who by very, very nature require young people, which if the old people go, will employ younger ones. 